Number 5. The Batmobile I remember growing up watching all the Batman movies. It's a shame that the characters change every now and then, but at the end of the day, it's always Batman. In The Dark Knight, Bruce Wayne drives a Lamborghini Murcielago, and other than this car being pretty goddamn awesome, it's also a bat. Literally. If you translate bat from Spanish to English, it translates to Murcielago. So, Bruce Wayne is literally driving a bat in broad daylight. If you ask me, the director of the movie, Christopher Nolan, is pretty damn slick for that, slyly having Bruce Wayne drive a bat without anyone really noticing. Number 4. Tron When I talk about Tron, most of you are probably thinking about Tron Legacy, the movie. But no, this little easter egg was put in the original Tron movie released way, way back in 1982, not Tron Legacy from 2010. In the 1982 Tron, if you look closely in the scene on Sark's battlecruiser, you can see a little Pac-Man on the board. This movie was released two years after Pac-Man was originally released in 1980. I guess Tron wasted no time in showing love. Number 3. Frozen when anyone asks about the movie Frozen, you're most likely going to get an answer because the movie is so well known nowadays. But then again, with every popular movie, when it ends, nobody watches the credits, the lights turn on, and everyone leaves the theater. But if you stay till the end of the credits, there's a disclaimer about Kristoff saying all men eat their own boogers. It's good that they put this in, or they would have got sued by a lot of people, because saying all men eat their own boogers is obviously a very offensive statement, right? Number 2, Ratatouille. This one is pretty much impossible to catch if you're just watching the movie like normal. You have to pause it. I know because when I watched this in theaters for a school trip back in grade 6, not a single person caught it. But if you take a good look at this scene and Linguini's underwear, you can see the Incredibles logo all over it. It's pretty cool because this is one of the many easter eggs in Pixar movies. Number 1, Breaking Bad. First off, I love this show. It's my favorite of all time, actually. But here's something I had no idea about up until now about the show. Every time there was a shot where you don't see the lower half of Walter White's body, he did not have pants on. I'm serious, he really didn't have pants on. This statement was confirmed by Aaron Paul or Jesse Pinkman, if you didn't know his name. The part that I find hilarious about this is that the most intense and memorable parts of the show are close-ups on Heisenberg. I guess this gives a whole new meaning to imagine everyone with their pants off. He did not have pants.